The growing popularity of so-called kid influencers is raising questions about the potential impact of sharing children's lives online. This is In the Spotlight. It's about people on this planet that has captured the attention of vloggers like me. Listen and learn more about your concerns on In the Spotlight. Forbes reports the highest paid YouTube star last year was seven-year-old Ryan who earned $22 million in just 12 months, people. He hosts a popular toy review channel on the site. The latest CBSN original, Kid Influencers, Few Rules, Big Money, looks inside the estimated $4.6 billion influencer business. It includes interviews with families of these young influencers. It's a lot of work. It's a full-time job, but it's not really a job because they're having fun. Yay! <laughs> My mom's here because because we're shooting on the East Coast and she's from the East Coast. She comes along, but she's skeptical because it's all brand new, like it was for us. Maybe this is my fourth or fifth shoot. It gives them a lot of great opportunities. Um, I see them being able to relate to adults and experiencing things that I could never even imagine. So it's kind of a great thing in that respect. But I don't know the other side of it. I don't know what, how that's going to influence them as they get older. I would say that I do share the concerns that my mom has, but not so... She's very dramatic. They're little girls. I want them to stay like that. Psychiatrist Dr. Sue Varma is here with the biggest issues for these social media stars and whether your kids should be following them online. Uh, good morning. So there are the kids who are in the videos and then there are the kids who are watching them. For the kids who are in the videos, are there psychological risks for parents putting them out there like that? Children that are social media stars are contending with all of the social pressures of being children in a digital age combined with being a child star. And we know that child stars are more likely to have anxiety, depression, substance issues later on in life because they're dealing with their sense of self-esteem being linked to public approval, yeah. career success, yeah. right? And the hits and the likes, and there's an intoxication. There's a, almost like an ad addiction to it. And they don't have the coping skills to deal with failure and disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. There are rules for kids who work on a, fi a film or TV set, but, but there aren't really rules for this, are there? No, and it's really concerning because anytime you have a family business, look, the child in this case is the product, right? Yes, so when, right. when does it end? It's a 24 seven job. And I'm concerned about where do parents who have to gain financially from this, how do they set the, the rules? And um, I'm, I'm troubled by this because the intrusive nature, it's 24 seven and the parents that are supposed to be protecting them in this case are obviously oversharing sometimes. Right now in a digital age to achieve success, it is both endless and merciless. And where are we going to teach our kids the values, right? This is um, really promoting instant gratification um, at the expense, I think, of substance and depth.